and welcome to Keith's Pie Tutorials. I'm Keith Ellis. Today I'll be talking about Secure Shell um, or SSH as it's known. Now SSH can be used to connect to a remote computer over the network or Wi-Fi connection to um, access the command line interface to, you know, con to control the computer, um, carry out commands, um, whatever else you'd like to do with it really. It enables you to use a um, Raspberry Pi without a keyboard, mouse or monitor um, and that's how I use my um, Raspberry Pi. It's, you know, it save, saves on space and um, particularly when it's um, on a robot there's, there's no need for a um, mouse, monitor, keyboard and it's nice and simple. So I'll be today, this is part one, um, this will be a two part tutorial. So part one today I'll be talking about how to set up SSH in its basic form and logging in and then um, sort of getting the command line interface up on, on a local machine, which will be my Mac Mini. Then I'll be using um, authorized keys to log in without needing the password so we can set the connection up, um, SSH in and we'll be connected straight away, which is very convenient if um, security isn't an issue. And part two, I'll be concentrating on more of the security options available. So we'll be setting up a password or that's secure on our authorized keys. Um, so we'll need a key to log in plus a password. So we call this two-factor authentication. And then I'll also um, discuss how to disable logging in with a username and password. So what that means is you, you can't log in with a username and password and you must have an authorized key. So it just increases the security slightly. So first thing we need to do before we can start using SSH is to find out the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm assuming you've got a keyboard monitor and mouse connected. Um, so boot up your Pi um, and at the command line, once you've logged in, type the command ifconfig and you'll see um, Depending on whether you're on wireless, you might see a WLAN zero entry, or if you're, you've got the Ethernet port plugged in, you'll see an ETH um, entry. And then look for the IP address, as I've highlighted there, and you'll need to remember that, and we will use that throughout the rest of the um, tutorial. Okay, to start with, I'm gonna make um, a few assumptions. I'm gonna assume we're using the Raspbian image, um, and it's freshly installed as such, um, the Raspbian image or the Raspbian on noobs setup comes with SSH setup as standard. So I'm assuming SSH is set up on your Pi. I'm using a Mac as my um, local machine and I'll refer to the Pi as a remote machine. So we'll start off with two terminal windows here on my Mac. This little one in the right hand corner will be always be my Mac and the bigger one in the background will later be the remote Pi. So we'll start off looking on the Mac and I'm gonna look into the um, home directory of my, um, which is Pi Tutorials in my case. And I'm gonna do a listing ls space hyphen la and that will list it out and with all hidden folders as well. And you'll note here, um, there isn't a .ssh directory. So SSH hasn't been used on this Mac mini before. So this is, this is um, what I'm assuming, that, that you haven't set up SSH before and this directory won't exist. So using a Mac, there's no extra software we need to install. It comes pre-installed, um, so we can get right into um, connecting to the remote Raspberry Pi. So the command is SSH, and then we type in our username on the Raspberry Pi, in my case it's Pi, at and then we need to know the IP address of the Pi. In my case, it's 192.168.54.20. So we'll type that into the command line and press enter. The first time we enter this command, we'll get this message. It's saying the authentication, authenticity of the host, um, the Pi we've just um, tried to connect to, can't be established. And it tells us the RSA key fingerprint of the Pi. And it says, do we want to continue? Um, we do, so we need to type yes at, the, at this prompt and press enter. It will ask for the Raspberry Pi's um, password. 
So we type the password in, press enter, and then we've got a command prompt. And there we are. This is um, a direct SSH connection to our Raspberry Pi. So in its simplest form, we've got SSH working, nice and simple. I'm just going to show you what happens when we type yes to that um, to accept the authenticity of our Raspberry Pi earlier. I'm going back to my um, Mac and just redone um, that listing directory and you see there's now a .ssh directory. I'm going to change directory into there and there's a file there called known hosts. So we'll just display the contents of that using cat um, known underscore hosts enter. And there you get you can see it's got the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. And the rest of that is a very long, uh, it's known as a RSA key. That's the public key of my Raspberry Pi, which has been copied onto my Mac Mini because we accepted that connection. And from now on, every time we do an SSH into that Pi, so we'll type that in again. It's exactly the same command, SSH space Pi at IP address. It'll ask for the password and we're connected. We won't get asked to authenticate that machine again. That's saved on the um, local machine as a in the known host file. Just as a bit of an aside, which can be very useful, I'm going to show you how to get to the instruction pages of various commands. Well, they're known as manual pages. So the command is man space and then the command we want to use. So in this case, I've typed man space SSH. And you can see it gives all sorts of information about SSH, all the various switches or options we can use. And it, these can be very useful. If you can't get a command working, it's always worth checking out the man pages. Um, just, just thought I'd share this bit of information because I use this quite a lot. In just in writing this tutorial, just to make sure I, I had my information right. See, so it talks about authentication here, which I'll be talking about later. Um, all the various keys and how you can use them to s set up SSH. So, I would recommend checking out the man pages, very good resource. So, next up is um, connecting to SSH without having to type our password in. Now, this can be used um, as a bit of a security um, feature, but obviously without a password, it's, it's, it's not so secure. Um, we can add a password at a later date, which will form part of um, you know, two-factor authentication. So on my Raspberry Pi, I'm just doing a directory listing in my home directory, and there isn't a .ssh directory. So I'm gonna make it mkdir for make directory .ssh and cd into that directory. Um, that's just preparing it for um, what I'm about to do on my Mac. So back on my Mac, I'm in my .ssh directory and we've got the known host file in there. That's the only file in there. So we need to generate some keys on our Mac and the command for that is ssh hyphen keygen space t space rsa space hyphen capital C and then I'm gonna I'm referring to this the, the space the hyphen C is a, for a comment and my comment is going to be MacBook. So that MacBook comment will be added to, to our local um, to the keys we're making. So there it says we're generating the public private keys. It asks us where to save the keys so I'm just going to select the um, Accept the default, which is our .ssh directory. There's an option to add a password. At this point in time, I'm not going to add the password. We'll do that later. So press Enter to um, confirm there's no password. That's done. I'll do a listing in my .ssh directory, and I've got two more files now. I've got an id underscore rsa dot pub, which is a public key, and I've got an 
ID underscore RSH, which is a private key. Now the private key you do not want to share. This is, um, you know, that that's this is what makes it secure. You need to keep it private, locked up. Um, but the public key um, we can distribute. So we need to get the public key onto our Raspberry Pi, and it needs to be copied into a file called authorized underscore keys. Now because we haven't got um, any authorized keys on our Raspberry Pi at the moment, it's a clean setup, um, we can copy the public um, key on my Mac straight to the Raspberry Pi. Um, the command I'm going to use is SCP, which is secure copy. So we'll type SCP space the file name we're copying, so which is id underscore rsa dot pub, um, and then we'll space, then we want to type in the machine we're connecting to, so pi at our IP address, colon, and then the directory we want to copy it to, so I'm using the tied forward slash, which is the home directory, dot ssh forward slash, and I'm going to specify the file name we're going to copy it to, which is authorized, which is spelt with a Z, underscore keys, and then enter. It will ask for the Pi's password, so we'll type that in now. And that is copied a uh, public key from the Mac over to the Raspberry Pi and in the process renamed it as authorized keys. So we're doing ls there, we've got the authorized keys file in our .ssh directory. So I'll just display it on the screen with the cat command, cat authorized keys, and you can see there's a ssh rsa key with the comment macbook at the end. So I know that is the public key for a macbook. So now we'll try an ssh back into our raspberry pi. Exactly the same command, ssh pi at IP address and you see we've gone straight in without needing a password so this can be very convenient you know if you're SSH into your Pi a lot um, it's very convenient to have this facility um, just bear in mind it's not as secure because um, we haven't used a password but you do need um, to be on the machine you've copied the public key across um, if you're on a different machine and you try and log in, um, you'll still need your Pi username and password. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's been useful. If you have, then please subscribe and check back. There'll be some more tutorials coming soon.